Marco, arming the F-35 with hypersonic missiles. Last week, Lockheed Martin unveiled Marco, the world's first air-launched hypersonic missile designed to be carried internally by stealth fighters the F-35. This could be the single most significant development in hypersonic weapons technology since the first Russian and Chinese hypersonic weapons entered service, provided the U.S. Navy ups to put it into production. This potentially game-changing missile was revealed at the Sea Air Space 2024 event last week. Modern hypersonic missiles are defined by their ability to maneuver while traveling at sustained speeds in excess of Mach 5. This is an important distinction from other high-speed weapons, like ballistic missiles, which can travel at speeds above Mach 2, but are considered easier to intercept due to the predictability of their ballistic flight paths. Lockheed Martin confirmed that Marco is indeed a maneuvering hypersonic weapon in an email on Thursday. Marco does not travel in a pure arcing ballistic flight path. It is a true hypersonic weapon that operates and maneuvers in a high-altitude hypersonic regime. Its high speed and maneuverability enable it to penetrate advanced air defense systems, engaging targets at or below hypersonic speeds, depending on mission requirements. While details about this groundbreaking new weapon remain sparse, Lockheed Martin did reveal that its new Marco missile has been under development for the past seven years, drawing funding from the US. That effort aimed to field an air-launched weapon meant specifically to counter elements of anti-access area denial defenses like air defense radar platforms, surface-to-air missile systems, and anti-ship missile launchers. The CIAW contract was ultimately awarded to Northrop Grumman in September 2023 for a missile derived from the radar-hunting AGM-88G Advanced Anti-Radiation Guided Missile Extended Range, AARGMER. Lockheed Martin's Marco hypersonic missile that competed didn't make the cut for the Air Force's needs, potentially due to cost limitations, so now the firm is shopping the weapon to the U.S. Navy as a multi-mission strike asset capable of engaging both land and sea-based surface targets. For the U.S. Navy, this is a multi-mission, highly capable system, highly survivable, affordable, so you're going to hold many targets at risk with one weapons system that's ready now. The Marco missile's complicated behind-the-scenes story. The Marco missile was developed under the auspices of the Air Force's Stand and Attack Weapon Program, with a total of some $35 million awarded to Lockheed Martin in three separate developmental contracts, associated with developmental phases. In a video clip released by Lockheed Martin in March 2022, while this weapon was competing for the CIAW contract, an F-35 is shown launching not one, but six of these Mach 5 Plus weapons in short order, two from internal bays and four more from external hardpoints underwing. The Marco was initially designed for carriage aboard the F-35A, but fits just as easily into the weapons bay of the F-35C for use aboard aircraft carriers. The short takeoff, vertical landing F-35B, however, doesn't have the internal storage space required to carry the weapon while maintaining a stealth profile, but could potentially carry these missiles underwing when stealth is not a priority.